What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another Android game review, and in this case it's going to be the Android game Monopoly, as you can see from the screen, for those of you watching the video. Uh, the game is also available for iOS, so um, as far as I can tell it's the exact same game, and one for e um, each platform. Um, I recently, as a bit of backstory for why I'm reviewing this game, is that I saw it on sale for Google on Google Play, so I decided I had some credits, so I'd see how it is, see how it holds up as far as playing the game mobily. Granted, it's not the same as playing the factual physical board game, passing around the money, royal or the fake money, and then rolling the dice and all of that, but this is a good digital way of playing the game. So once you load the game, um, it's a pretty simple settings menu to... Um, adjust the music and sound effects and all of that. You can turn vibration on and off, set your uh, language, view the rules and all that. So that's all there is for that. Uh, the game does offer a variety of playing modes in order to um, either play the classic game or play a faster version of the game. So when you put, hit play, you'll see the various modes. So you have single player, online, multiplayer. So if you want to um, play a quick game or a classic game with other players you have that option you can do pass and play so you have the classic rules um, quick rules or the house rules and all of that so um, there's that and then you can play online with friends so what this allows you to do is as long as all of the people you want to play the game with have monopoly installed on their device you guys can play with each other but um, you see how you play on your own device so you don't have to pass it around so you can either be the main person to create the game and you set the classic game or a quick game or a custom rules depending on um, what options you want to set like um, the money your uh, the money that goes to the bank can go to free parking skip spaces extra money on go no auctions um, faster house and hotel building and things like that or you can set um, uh, quick rules and then once you start the game you uh, would give all your friends uh, code which will allow them to join the game or if you're one of the people who, who's joining someone else's game they would give you the code and you guys can play the games with each other and you view the game on your own screen so from there that's pretty much the probably the hardest part of playing the game so I'll start a single player game um, just to show the how it goes to set that um, up um, after the video or after the review on the video version I'll have a sample game I played for about a half an hour just to see how it holds up see how the graphics look see how the gameplay holds up and all of that so we'll get to that in a second so in this game time for this instance I'm going to start a new game um, I'll do classic rules um, you start off with the classic city and spaces for the board um, so that's the classic city, but you do have the option to get other cities. So if you want Snowdrop Valley, so if you want a ski resort, then um, you can get that. Um, there is Atlantic City, uh, Monstropolis. Um, so I guess that's a very a variety of different monsters. You can get London and other locations, but that does cost money. So... Uh, when you select it and you want to buy more, you can see, you'll see that for example, this Paris theme is six ninety nine. Um, if you want uh, London, it's also six ninety nine. So the game does come for free with the classic board, but if you want more boards, you do have to spend some money on it. Um, that's kind of the downside of the game, but if you do want various themes or themed boards with these other locations, then um, it's up to you to determine if it's worth it for you. So from here um, I'll select the classic board because it's the one I like if you wanted to check if you want the Explorer pack with a variety of different locations around the world you can spend $4.99 to get a variety of different locations or if you want I guess all these themes and various others and you want the season pass it's $34.99 all of that is kind of expensive for me so um, I'm happy with sticking with the uh, traditional board unless they come out with a Star Wars board or they add the Star Wars board or maybe a Star Trek board. Then I might consider go putting money down for that. But as far as these other cities, I'm kind of indifferent. So that's my opinion. But if you like those other boards, that's up to you to spend the money if you or the extra money on top of the original game if you want those boards. So hitting select, 
um, you can set your own um, piece. So if you so what um, you get some of the default pieces, um, and you do have to adjust some of the other ones if you want access to uh, the duck or the battleship or one of some of those other ones if you want. Um, the, a variety of other tokens, and you do have to spend the money. It looks like two dollars each, or four ninety nine um, for the pieces in bulk. So um, something to keep in mind there. So for now, I'll keep, um, I'll select the dog. Uh, you can do the same thing for all the other players in the game, so you can um, adjust those out as needed. And then if you want, and then you can set the difficulty level of each of your other players. So if you want a, an easy game, you can do that for all of them. Or if you want a variety of different difficulty um, levels for the AI, then you can set that. Um, from there, you'll just hit start game. It'll load it up for you. You get a nice panorama view of the uh, board and city. You get some nice animations. So um, that's one of the things I like. It's a it's kind of retrofitting the a three D aspect of the game with the um, well, classic two dimensional board. Um, you of course start with a traditional um, die roll, the dice roll, so that you can determine who goes first. And uh, from there, the gameplay is pretty straightforward. Um, as each player rolls, the option to buy property, or if you go to jail, then go to jail, um, show up. As you go around the board and pass go, you get the $200. Uh, when it gets to my turn, then I'll show the um, buying and selling and mortgaging system, but that's also incorporated um, in... Um, to the game, so everything is available for... Um, or basically the same thing, same options that you get in the physical board game, then uh, you get that also in this digital version. So a pretty nifty um, or a pretty good gameplay and a good incorporation for the digital version. And the gameplay overall, as you can tell, is pretty smooth. I am on a OnePlus 8 Pro, so I do have plenty of um, screen power. Um, system requirements so you know plenty of ram plenty of processing power so obviously right now it's my turn so i'll show you so you can do the trade menu so if i want to trade with the cat and right now the cat has one property so if i want to buy saint charles place from them i don't have any properties to trade so i can you know wager all i can only wager money um as um, an option there. Um, if I had properties, I can mortgage them. If I want, if I wanted to buy property or offer trade or participate in an auction, um, you, as far as rolling the die, you can either tap quickly to do a quick roll, or you can hold down for it to do a longer dice roll. So I rolled an eleven. So I'll go around the corner. I'm gonna uh, apparently land on St. Charles Place. So I paid ten dollars or ten monopoly dollars to the cat. So. Um, that's pretty much all there is for that. Once you're done with the, your rolling, trading, mortgaging, and all of that, you'll hit end turn. And from there, the game pretty much res continues like the regular game of Monopoly until all the players go bankrupt and or all the other players go bankrupt and one person ends up winning. I haven't gotten to the point where I, if I go bankrupt if the game ends from there and I can keep watching or if the game just ends right then because of, as me being the main player that since I'm out the game is done but or maybe it just goes more rapidly to as far as calculating so I haven't gotten that far so I don't know how that ends but uh, the gameplay is good overall I do recommend it um, I've only been playing this for a couple of days now so I probably I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10 um, as far as overall likability, enjoyment, graphics, vibrancy of the colors, and all of that. Um, the only thing that's kind of a downside is the menu system, as you saw in the early menu system, is kind of slow, but there's nothing to really hold the game or hold against the developers of the game. Overall, it's not anything detrimental. Once you start playing the game, it obviously works pretty smoothly and well, so... I can't really complain too much about that. So overall, a good game. Uh, the only thing that's kind of um, expensive about the game is the, or the only real downside is kind of the, some of the features are kind of expensive for the game. So as I mentioned, um, I did have some credits and I did buy the game on sale. Um, so as I'm talking, I'm actually pulling up the price of the game. I didn't look it up, but the game is regularly $3.99, but it's currently as of 
January 6th on sale for $1.49. So buying the game with a classic board is not too bad. It's just when you want more boards or more icon pieces, then it does become more expensive. So it all depends on if you want those extra tokens and boards and all of that where the money can rack up. But um, playing the game with the classic board is um, not too bad. And it's... I. Um, it is available for the family plan if you have other members on the plan. So I think you can set it up so if you have multiple people on your um, email account, then you can share the game with them and try playing that way to save a little bit of money. But if you want to play with your friends, then obviously everyone has to um, spend the money. So that's all there is for this particular review. So I'm going to end the game um now but as i mentioned um i'll ha after this uh video review for the video watchers um i'll have about a half an hour of gameplay so you can see more of the trading options mortgaging and just a longer gameplay than what's in this review um for the audio listeners i'll have a link to the uh, video on youtube so um you guys can check it out and i'll have the timestamp for the review and for when the gameplay starts so you can jump around there as well but that's all there is for um this particular review if you have any questions comments concerns feedback of your own then you can find me on twitter at patel n01 uh, the website's patel n01.com for um uh, past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff and so that's really all for this particular review. So thanks for tuning in and until next time.